The question we have today is about a game that is long past its prime, but still near and dear to many of our hearts. EverQuest. So the question is, what quality of life improvements would level up your enjoyment of the game? This is an EverQuest video where I need your help. I can talk here, and I will, about what I would like to see in EverQuest. But what's more valuable than my opinion? All of yours. At the end of this video, I want to know what you think. I want to know what you think about my suggestions for quality of life, and I want to know what you would like to see in the game. What would you like to see in EverQuest in 2021, soon 2022? What do you think would bring EverQuest into the 2020s? What do you think would maintain the integrity of the game we all have fond memories of, while also improving it and making it more viable to potentially a new audience that hasn't experienced the game before. What, in a sense, make EverQuest competitive again? And then I guess the other question would be, do you want it to be? So number one, and perhaps the biggest and most important one, is gonna be revamped UI. This is, I'm talking, I'm talking top to bottom. I'm talking inputs. I'm talking crafting. I'm talking windows. I'm talking every, pretty much every single thing about the UI needs to go the hell away and be replaced with something that is much more updated. The EverQuest UI is clunky. It's very modifiable, which is fantastic, but not user friendly at all. There are windows that could easily be combined. There are presets that should exist that don't. And all of the textures are dated. In some ways, it feels like a work in progress version of an, a user interface that was something they just went with because it had the least impact on computers. It's very lightweight, but it's lightweight in an ugly and cumbersome way. There are custom UIs that fix some of this, but to ask a new player to go and download a custom user interface because the one that ships with the game is crap, well, that's gonna be a recipe for disaster. I think a complete rework of the UI by teams that have worked on games post EverQuest while keeping in mind the important information needed to be shown to the player at any given moment in the game would make, would make a tremendous difference in the quality of life of EverQuest players today. And remember, this is not the first UI update the game has had. We started with this, we then moved to this. So there is at least some precedent for a massive overhaul of the UI. Next is going to be something that I think is, is really near and dear to my heart, both where the idea first came from and how much it would personally improve the game experience for me. I'm talking about adding in a book of knowledge, not from plain of knowledge. No, that was, that's a whole other thing. There's a video on that on this channel. No, I'm talking about a lore book, a quest book, a faction book, all combined into one. This idea actually came from another game that I played and really enjoyed called Warhammer Age of Reckoning. It has since been added into some other games and is potentially going to be added into Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, but it's something that I think would be amazing to have. Now this one is near and dear to my heart because EverQuest lore is wonderful. And they have a surprising number of exciting and interesting quests as well. EverQuest currently has a quest log. Kind of. But let's be honest, that's ugly as fuck. In Warhammer, Age of Reckoning, a game that innovated on a lot of things, but ultimately failed due to being incomplete and perhaps some incompetence, had a new way of tracking not just lore, not just quests, but factions and all kinds of important information that you need to know as the player. It's called the Book of Knowledge. This could all be incorporated into every quest with a UI revamp that we already mentioned. A book that shows your achievements, your factions, your current quest, completed quests, a book with all the lore bits that you've uncovered. 
Perhaps after defeating a raid, it fills with lore from that event, letting you reread the story, letting you get the details that are so carefully crafted throughout EverQuest. I think at this point, this is something that should be in all MMOs. A place that contains all the things that you want to track as a player. But it shouldn't just be some ugly ass tabs. This is something that, again, it may be a lot of me in, in putting my personal preference on it. So I'm curious if you have had any experience with games that have a book of knowledge type tracking system, a centralized location for the things that many players want to see. Achievements, quests, quest logs, what you've done, what you haven't done, and lore. Would you be interested? Would you perhaps read some of the lore if it was revealed to you in that way through your book. So this 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 third one is perhaps one of two that are going to be some some of the most contentious because I think the the first two I don't see that there would be that much argument against them because they don't structurally change that much of the game. They just change the way it is presented. These though preparing for the comments. So on this one, we're talking about points of interest and exploration. EverQuest is huge. It was large, even when it launched, and as you can imagine, with 20 plus years of expansions, it has expanded? Point being, there is a ton of the game that some players will never see. Some of it will of course be locked behind raids or group zones that they just don't need to go to, but there's so much open land zone to explore and experience. So what about adding points of interest across different zones? You can tie it to achievements, you can tie it to small amounts of experience, but you could unlock bits of lore or other things as you go through the game. It doesn't have to be the grand sweeping vistas of Guild Wars 2 and Lost Ark. It could just be a point on the map that you go and explore and it tells you a little about it. It gives you a little bit of a positive reinforcement for diverging from the path. Maybe little things like looking at the different ruins or things around the game. EverQuest is a little bit underrated, I think, in how much of the game you can find new and exciting things to explore. Some of these are, you know, used in quests, so you may see them through that. But a lot of times there's just there's things that you would miss otherwise. Now, I know this, especially the small amount of experience part, is maybe verging on tarnishing the integrity of EverQuest as it is now. Norath, though, is begging to be explored, but it's gotten so large that I think without some kind of carrot, players just aren't going to want to. And going with that, not even its own point, but could we get a map revamp? Some actual map art? We're past the days of EverQuest as a mapless game where you had to go to EQ Atlas and look at landmarks to find the game. We now have what is essentially a doodle. And we can get into the debate about having a map or not having a map. That's not what I'm talking about here. The map's already there. So EverQuest has already made that decision to include a map. So we can at least make it look good, right? So here may be the most controversial idea. What about level and stat squish? So this is probably more needed in EverQuest 2 than in EverQuest 1. And if you would have asked me a few years ago if this was possible, I would have said no. Then WoW came along and did it a few years ago for the first time. Conceived in 2011, tested in 2013, and live with the Warlords of Draenor, we saw a stat squish that made numbers more manageable. There was a subsequent stat squish in Battle for Azeroth, and then a level squish in Shadowlands, the most recent expansion. Now these are huge undertakings, and they have to be done right, or they'll upset balance tremendously. But they can help balance out the growth of numbers that plagues MMOs that have been out for a while. Think about the stats you had in Classic EverQuest, Kunark. Velius, then think about your stats you have now in EverQuest Live. The curve just keeps going up, up, and up. I'm nowhere near smart enough to be a game developer, but I know that in mathematics, bigger numbers are harder for me. 
Now there's an issue here with something called 32 bit signed integers. I don't understand that enough to comment on it, but this was a reason given for the stat squish and the level squish in WoW. And I think it might apply to EverQuest as well because a little bit of research showed that EverQuest also uses 32 bit integers. But the reason why it was an issue with WoW was because it caused some havoc with the amount of health necessary for a boss and some of the mechanics would cause health to overflow because of how those numbers worked out. So from the standpoint of the player and the quality of life, we're going to lean on a little bit of science here and how the human brain is essentially very bad at dealing with large numbers. I think part of that's because you don't deal with large numbers on a daily basis. You don't have 1.1 million watermelons at your home. And if you do, why? Those large numbers start to get unwieldy. They start to cloud things. The DPS numbers, heal numbers, everything. It, it feels less impactful the larger the numbers get. Do the larger numbers where they get into the thousands and tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, do those start to get too much for you? Do they start to cheapen things, cheapen achievements, cheapen things you do? Because you cannot conceptualize it in the same way you can smaller numbers. EverQuest has kind of already done a stat squish in a sense. And I'm, I may be stretching that here a little bit, but well, well, stay with me, stay with me. So heroic stats were added into EverQuest and heroic stats, what they did was they essentially gave you a new stat to chase while essentially ignoring the old stat you had because it had maxed out. And so that's those stats started out as being in small, small increments. So you went from having, you know, 10, 20, 30 of a stat on an item to one two or three. And it helped in a, in a, to kind of revamp that and like, you know, getting a heroic three dex item versus a 30 dex item felt more impactful. And they were tied to percentages and you, they added some tool tips to kind of try and explain how things worked. And you had so much theory crafting going on about how this stat does this versus other stats and finding out what is the best way to build your character with heroic stats. I personally preferred that. I liked dealing with the smaller numbers and you might just say that, you know, it's because I struggle with math and that's probably a pretty valid thing to say, but it helped me to deal with those smaller numbers and the gigantic numbers we have now. So at this point, if I haven't chased you away and had you go screaming for the hills, these are just my opinions. And like I said in the intro, I would really like to know what you think. What would you like to see in EverQuest? What would be a quality of life improvement to the game that would keep EverQuest as EverQuest, but potentially make it more fun for you, more fun for your neighbor, and more fun for your neighbor's kid who's never played EverQuest, but might be interested. If you quit EverQuest, what's something that would bring you back if they added it? My name is Redbeard Flynn. If you enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like. If you want more content like this on MMOs and other video games, please consider subscribing. And if you really want to see my face as often as possible, you can hit that bell and we'll make sure you get a notification the moment a video goes live. Thank you so much and I hope you have a absolutely wonderful day.